para bands are in the news in recent times. Para bands, methyl para band, ethyl para band, butyl para band, isobutyl para band, like that. There are five, six types of para bands used. In fact, para bands are used as the preservatives. When you look at deodorants, when you look at hair care products, when you look at moisturizers, when you look at body care products, in fact, the purpose of using parabens is to prevent the microbial growth inside. They can stay, their shelf life can increase. Not only that, when you we are applying that on our skin, when we are applying, when we are using those products, we should not be affected with the growth of microorganisms to prevent the growth of microorganisms not only in the product but also for the consumer. These parabens are used. Basically, these parabens are preservatives to prevent the microbial growth, to prevent the growth of the microbes and to prevent the mold formation. And there are, in fact, different news reports with regard to parabens. Some say they are harmful. Some say they are prone to cancers, especially breast cancers. There is no conclusive proof yet. In fact, many countries allow parabens. And it is better to not to use these components in huge quantities. Huge exposure may be dangerous, but till now, till now, there is no conclusive proof that they cause cancer. Parabens, aluminum salts, these are being quite often talked about. So parabens to prevent microbial growth, to increase the shelf life, to prevent the microbial growth on the consumers after these products are applied. These are used as preservative, even in the food products, for increasing the shelf life in the food products, parabens are used. And look at the first one. Indian food regulations do not allow parabens as food preservatives. This is wrong. In fact, there, is, there are two such regulations banning parabens. Right? And both deodorants and antiperspirants invariably contain aluminum salts. This is wrong. What is the difference between deodorants and this antiperspirants? Deodorants, basically, these are to prevent foul smell due to sweat when you are going out. Sweat is the natural thing. And when you go to the areas with the high temperature, through sweat, our body dissipates excess heat. And the mechanism in our body is, our body has the mechanism to regulate the temperature in our body, irrespective of external temperature. And that mechanism is through the sweating process. When you are going out with 43, 44 degrees Celsius, through sweat, the excess heat, body dissipates. That's why we learned previously, when the wet bulb temperature is high, that means relative humidity is high, then wet bulb temperature will increase. The gap between dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature will come down when relative humidity increases. So the coastal areas, for example, you feel sultry. Your sweat will not go out. Your body finds it difficult to control or to maintain temperature. Right? So here, let us come back to the discussion. Both the deodorants, deodorants are basically to prevent foul smell from the sweat, antiperspirants, antiperspirants, the main purpose is to prevent sweat formation, to prevent the sweat formation, what happens is in the pores of the skin, in the pores of the skin, the aluminum salts present in antiperspirants, they will go and they will block those pores. So the difference between deodorants and antiperspirants are deodorants, they prevent bad smell. They may or may not have parabens. Some are paraben-free products are also coming nowadays. 
but aluminum salts are primarily used to, to prevent the sweat formation to prevent sweat formation that is by blocking the pores so antiperspirants they contain aluminum salts but not deodorants deodorants purpose is not to block sweat glands use of antiperspirants affects the elimination of toxins by the human body in fact this is this can be considered wrong because primarily primarily the toxins are sent out from the body primarily the toxins are sent out primarily i am talking the skin may have small role but primarily the toxins are sent out by the body through liver and kidneys kidneys in fact they filter the toxins and through urine that is sent out and when you look at liver the toxins are sent out by the liver through the feces so therefore the important aspect here is skin may not play vital role in sending out the toxins so this statement also becomes wrong d is the right option here in fact this parabens deodorants antiperspirants these are quite often in the news from the concern of human health have a nice day thank you